In today's morning rounds, more than 70% of ovarian cancers are diagnosed late. Those patients have a low survival rate, but now help could be coming from a very unusual source. Dr. Holly Phillips shows us how highly trained dogs could be used literally to sniff out the cancer. Dogs are known for their strong sense of smell. And now University of Pennsylvania researchers are putting it to the test. Dr. Cindy Otto is director of the Veterinary School's Working Dog Center. We are trying to train the dogs to identify samples from women with ovarian cancer. Do ovarian cancer cells smell differently than normal ovarian cells? Yes, based on the literature, based on what's been done, we know that dogs will identify the cancer cells but not normal ovarian tissue. The team is using tissue and blood samples from patients. The dogs are taught to sniff through a series of containers until they recognize the cancer's chemical markers. Then they sit down that to signal that they've found it. That was really perfect. A smaller study found dogs could do this with 90% accuracy. That was good. <laughs> and how did you choose ovarian cancer as opposed to other forms of cancer? to start training the dogs? Well, there's a couple of reasons. One, because it's such a devastating cancer that's caught late. Um, and if we can develop a screening technique to catch it early, then that will save lives. Ovarian cancer is common, with more than 20,000 American women diagnosed each year. But because there's no standard screening test, 70% are diagnosed late. As a result, women like Anne-Marie Hanley are much less likely to survive. Hanley donated tissue to the study. I got to the point that I couldn't um, handle eating any kind of food. I couldn't walk upstairs, and I'm still being looked at with no one knowing what was going on. Okay, all right, see? The hope is that through early detection, the study will save lives. But that doesn't mean putting a dog in every doctor's office. The idea is to develop a simple saliva or urine test done by machine that will become part of regular treatment. We hope that it would be integrated into every woman's care in the not too distant future. A uh, easy to use routine test that can uh, detect ovarian cancer at an early stage. When ovarian cancer is caught in its beginning stages, women have a 90% five-year survival rate. And Anne-Marie Hanley is happy to know so many paws are hard at work to make that happen. It sounds like a really wonderful way to discover something and, and use our, you know, our best friends. <laughs> now, if all goes well, researchers hope a routine test will be available in the next five years or so. It's, it's really great. incredible. It's really I have to say incredible. I had a good time shooting this piece yeah. and just seeing the dogs at work. They're really very accurate. 70%. Yeah. And dogs, we already know they can detect seizures, hypoglycemia, even heart attacks, now this. Yeah, you know, it's, it just has to do with picking up those biochemical markers that we can't smell, but they can. Dr. Holly Phillips, great story.